Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem tonight out of chapter 11 in McClave, and it has to do with interpreting the outputs from regression. And in this problem, uh, they say they want us to find and interpret S and S square. S, you remember, is the estimated standard error of the regression model, or as some uh, call it, estimate of the error of standard deviation of the model. And S square, of course, is the variance of the model, variance of the error of the model. It says it, we have a manufacturing process. We've got a concern with the useful life of a cutting tool. It says it's linearly related to the speed at which the tool is operated. And they're giving us data about two different brands of cutting tools. And they want to know for which brand would you feel more confident using the least squares line to predict useful life for a given cutting speed. I'm going to click on the icon there and bring up our data. You can see we've got cutting speed meters per minute. We've got two brands of cutting tools, brand A and brand B, and their useful life. So we want to regress these. And we are going to use StatCrunch. So I'm going to click on the icon. I'm going to open this data in StatCrunch. The first thing we need to do is decide which is our x variable and which is our y variable, which is the predictor variable and which is the response variable, the way I like to think about it. In this case, they're asking us to predict useful life, therefore useful life would be our response variable y using the brand. So our brand is our predictor and that is the x. So let's go to stat regression, simple linear, brings up our dialog, and our x variable is going to be the cutting speed, and then we're going to predict the useful life of A, and I'm just going to leave the rest there and click on compute, and we bring up an answer box here, and I'm going to expand that so that we can see it. I'm not going to go over everything in detail here, but just remember that the printout or the output on most statistical software for regressions gives you an awful lot of information. Here we've got the variance, that's S squared, take the square root of that, and that gives us our standard deviation up here. But what we were interested in here is the estimate of the error standard deviation is 1.327 for the A. I'm going to go back and I'm going to run that regression again, simple linear. This time I'm going to pick cutting speed again as my uh, predictor variable, and useful life of B is my response variable. Click on compute, and I'm going to drag this out so we can um, see everything here. Let's expand it a little bit. And here we see our estimate of error standard deviation this time is 0 0.590. So B has a smaller standard deviation estimate of the error. Therefore, it's going to be a more reliable predictor than A, which has the larger standard deviation of the error S. And let's see if that's what they came up with. Yes, uh, 0 0.590, which is the standard deviation for brand B, 1.327 rounding for brand A, brand B's S is smaller than brand A's, therefore brand B is a better predictor. Hope this helps.